What's up everybody? It's Andrew and welcome to the 10th Java tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be making a program and we're going to be using the random class. So what the random class is, it's a built-in class within Java and it is used to generate a random number. And you can use it to generate a random number between 0 and whatever number you want to and then you can adjust it from there. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a little bit. So in order to use the random class, we need to first import it. Same with other classes. So you're going to want to import it. And it's in the utilities. So java.util and called random. Now, since we're going to be building a program in this video, we're also going to need a scanner. So we'll import that as well. All right, so we're going to be building a program that generates a random number and then asks the user to guess the number and then lets them know if they get it right or wrong. So let's create our variables for this. Uh, the first thing we're going to need are some integer variables since we're going to be having the user guess numbers and they're all going to be whole numbers. So we'll have two variables. The first one's going to be answer and then guess. So answer will be what the number actually is generated by the our random object and then guess is going to be what the user picks. And then we are uh, we need a a max. And we're going to have the user guess between 1 and 5. So we're going to have our max integer And we're going to have it set to 5 since we want the user to guess or we want the, the number that's generated to be between 1 and 5 and then that's what also what they're going to be guessing. Alright, so we have both the random class and scanner class imported so we need to create objects within those classes. So we have the scanner and then we name our object. I'm just going to call it keyboard equals new scanner and we're getting system input system.in and also we need to create an object with our random class now this is important so to use the random class you type out random and then you name your object I'm just gonna name it rand and then it equals new random so that's saying you are basically creating an object called rand within the random class all right now we have both those objects we need to have the computer generate a random number now what we want to do with that is set our variable which is answer to um, we're gonna set our random number between 1 and 5, right? So we need to call our random object, so rand, and we're going to use a dot. So like a dot is like um, a method within that class. So within our random class, we need to call the method next int. And then there's an argument within that method, next int, and we're going to put our max variable in there. Now, what this actually does is generates a random number between 0 and what is in this argument, but not including that argument. So right now, answer will be generated, and the random number will be between 0 and 4, and not including 5. So if you put 5 here, it, the, the answer that can be generated will be 0 through 4. Just remember that it doesn't include what's in here. So if we had 10, it'll generate 0 through 9. Hope that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and put max in there. So it'll be 5. And I know you're saying, like, well, how are we going to generate 1 through 5? Well, what we're going to do is on the outside of that argument, we're going to add 1. So now when this generates 0 through 4, 
we're gonna add one to that number, and now it's gonna generate one through five. All right, so we need to tell the user to guess a number. So we use our system.out.print and tell them to guess a number between one and five. Now, in order to get input from them, we'll call our guest variable and we'll set that to keyboard.nextInt. So that means the next integer that they enter is gonna be set to guess. And now, just like in the last videos where we went over the if and else, we're gonna use that to verify if they guessed the right number or not. So if guess is equal to answer, We'll just have it output. Good job. The number was, and we will concatenate it with the answer just to show them they got it right and then we'll just show them what the answer was that was generated. And we are, we need an else here. And if for the else, we'll just put, sorry, but the number was, and same thing as last time, we'll, oops, we will concatenate it with that. Okay. So what, what this will do is right here, it checks to see if this is true, and if it's true, it'll do whatever in this if statement. If this is false, it'll look for this else, and then it'll perform this. So let's run this. Okay, so it says guess a number between one and five. So what the computer did is it generated using the random class an integer between one and five. So I have to guess between one and five what it is. So I will just say three and it says sorry but the number was four. Now this program is only written to go one time. It performs the pass one time. So if I run it again, run it does the same thing. Guess a number between one and five. Guess two. Sorry, but the number was five. So hopefully that makes sense with you. I'll run through it quickly just one more time. So in order to use the random class, you need to import it. And it's java.util.random. We have our class name random number and then our main method and within our main method we have variables answer and guess and they're both integer variables. We also have our final integer variable which it's a constant so it's capitalized max and is five since we're guessing between one and five. We know that variable is not going to change. We have our scanner object named keyboard and we have our random object named rand. You must Create the objects within those classes to use them. Now back to this. So to generate a random number, you call your random object that you created, and then you use the method dot next int. And then within that, within those parameters of your next int is going to be what number is created. So it's going to create a number between zero and whatever you have in here. So, like I said, if this is five, this object's gonna create an integer between zero and four. It doesn't include this, that's like the ceiling. That's just the highest number, but not including that number. And then since we wanted one in five and not zero through four, we add one to it. So now it creates between one and five, not the zero through four.
And down here, all we did was told the user to guess between one and five. We took their input using the keyboard.nextint and then checked to see if they got it right or wrong. If guess is equal to answer, then we outputted that, good job. And if this was false, we went to this else statement and did that. So I hope that helped kind of clear up the random class a little bit. And thanks for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.